Hi, this is David with entry number 543, possibly 42. I'm here in, uh, on, uh, in, on Yanhui Street, I suppose, would be the best translation for it. It is a uh, very warm day, probably, I reckon, the warmest day we've had of the year. Um, this is a very uh, fascinating street because if you don't, if you can't really notice, um, sorry, but there's like, if you look to my right or whatever left here, um, those are all big houses and those are like single residency homes. Uh, some of them have now, like this one, been split into um, kind of like modern duplex kind of style homes. But uh, for the most part, there's a lot of like very wealthy people that um, that live around here. It's not a cheap place to live, but it is, um, I would reckon, very safe. And um, if you do, if you are able to kind of uh, afford the area, one, it, I would consider it one of the uh, better parts of uh, Seoul to live in. Uh, you know, apologize, but uh, the next couple of minutes might be a bit, a bit dubious because this is the uh, middle of the afternoon and um, there's a lot of uh, activity going on because it is such a, a warm day, I suppose. Um, it's cool is that a lot of these, if you look, look over here, a lot of these places do um, open air kind of dining where they have these large windows that they... Um, they keep open for uh, patrons to kind of have that uh, experience without um, having to sit outside and get the sun on their face. Apologies for the noise again, but there's a big diesel bus right here. This will be a second. Um, uh, so today I wanted to, uh, I think it's a band or something, um, I wanted to briefly review the, the movie. Avengers Age of Ultron, which I guess is the the working title for the movie. Um, I'm gonna walk down this excuse me, this alley. Hopefully, it's a little quieter. Um, and now there's a granny coming with her cart, so of course it's gonna get a little loud again. I apologize. Um, so the movie. Hold on one second. Um, the movie itself was pretty good wasn't uh, as good as the first one, which I guess is what most people uh, are kind of saying about it. It um, did have a lot of action, and the acting was pretty good for the most part. Um, I don't want to say it was bad, but uh, it wasn't like, don't expect to go into it, you know, thinking that you're going to get some kind of like Oscar level, level performance from anyone, because you're not. Um, it was basically about as good as uh, you'd expect it to be. Sorry about the noise again. Um, I would say it was uh, maybe, uh, you know, about as good as you could expect from action movie stars. It's not not to say it was as bad as maybe a Sylvester Stallone performance, but it wasn't exactly any like Shawshank Redemption level acting either. Um, well, it's, it's a cheap Apple truck right there. You see it right there. Um, overall, I thought it was pretty good. Um, I, I'll say it right now. I thought I'd, I would personally give it about an 8.5 out of 10. Um, it wasn't like it was uh, mind-blowing, uh, which is what I think a lot of people expected it to be, but it was uh, definitely enjoyable for what it was. Uh, the action was very solid, very uh, punchy and explodey and all the kinds of stuff that kind of people want out of, uh, I guess, one of these comic book films. I'm not going to say it was, uh, well, I thought that one of the biggest kind of detractions I'll give it was that it was very CG, computer generated. Uh, a lot of this action pieces. So instead of having, um, oh, sorry about this, they're doing construction in the tunnel. Jeez, hold on, I'm gonna pull up this corner again. Um, instead of having uh, live action stunts being performed, they relied quite heavily on um, 
they relied quite heavily on um, computer-generated images, so stuff that doesn't use actors and um, doesn't even use motion capture, which a lot of people uh, use nowadays, but it was just kind of like them running and then all of a sudden they would turn into like a very obvious, uh, kind of like a, excuse me, a cartoon appearance. And um, I can't catch a break today. I just can't catch a break. Got a lot of noise happening. Um, it'd be like a cartoon kind of look to it. And it looks pretty terrible, to be honest. And, um, but I thought the new kind of characters they introduced were cool. And the, um, the story was pretty good overall. Um, it was basically the, the overall plot was a guy a creature, a thing, uh, develops like a megalomania, develops megalomania, and um, that's about it. If you've seen any kind of movie in the last 30 or 40 years where someone developed, the bad guy develops that kind of quote-unquote new world order philosophy, then uh, you've seen, you've seen the movie already. Overall, you know, it was very, it was very in, in, enjoyable for what it was, but it, it wasn't it wasn't the end all be all action film uh, that I really wanted it to be. So uh, with that being said, the noise is going to get really bad here. I'll end it here. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.